Hello, my name is Poppy. I'm a trainer with MakerBot Learning. Let's take a look at MakerBot's ABS filament. As a plastic, it's been around for a while. It's found in TVs, cell phones, computers, and other kinds of products. ABS stands for acrylonite butadiene styrene and is derived from petroleum. Even though it is more challenging to 3D print with ABS filament, it is the preferred material for engineering applications. At MakerBot, ABS comes in a wide variety of true colors. ABS is good for engineering and product development applications because it can withstand a good amount of wear and tear in testing environments. Under extreme heat, stress, and pressure, ABS will bend and distort before breaking. ABS can be tricky to 3D print because it's more sensitive to environmental changes in the printing process. The MakerBot Replicator 2X Experimental 3D Printer is optimized for ABS, which is why it features a heated build plate and a full enclosure. The dual extruders must melt the ABS and then layer it onto the heated build plate. ABS cools slowly, otherwise, if it's cooled rapidly, your 3D print can crack along layer lines. ABS prints, especially those with a large bottom surface, are susceptible to warping while printing. This can be avoided by ensuring a consistent temperature inside the build chamber and printing with a raft. When 3D printing in ABS, you should always print with a raft and make sure your build plate is level. Since ABS prints must cool slowly, the surface quality you can achieve is affected. For example, you can 3D print a vertical overhang at no greater than 45 degrees without supports. You can reliably 3D print bridges up to an inch and a half. Just to note, ABS has a shrinkage rate of about 2%. In spite of these limitations, ABS can save you time and money when prototyping. Post-production is easy. You will need to remove supports and rafts using a set of tools. You can print dissolvable rafts and supports. These parts will need to be dissolved in a solution called limonene. ABS prints can also be chemically smoothed to hide layer lines. For a more refined look, acrylic paint can be applied to ABS. If you won't be 3D printing for a while, make sure to unload your spool of ABS filament and put it in a bag. This filament absorbs water from the air and can swell in humid environments. In terms of disposal, ABS prints should be discarded in the trash or sent to a number seven recycling program. Unfortunately, ABS won't break down in a landfill. On behalf of MakerBot Learning, thanks for watching.